What's going on guys? Welcome back for another UU Live today. We're going to be using a team that we have used before in the past. A good, uh, great team that our buddy Jose passed us. Uh, it's got some great elements on it. Uh, I believe this is Defensive Sylveon. Hydreigon is uh, now allowed back in the tier, so we're going to be uh, trying it out, see how it works. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of counters. Uh, there's not any real counter to Hydreigon, or so Jose says. Uh, Sylveon checks it pretty well, especially our set where Roost 3 attacks, so uh, and Life Orb, of course. We have Thunderbolt on Nidoqueen to catch water types off guard. I don't know if we're going to find a, uh, a game too quickly because it is quite late. Uh, let's see how many uh, UU battles there are going on right now. Only 27, so hopefully with our rank we're able to find something relatively quickly. But uh, I'm not going to keep you guys waiting any longer. I'm just going to pause it and we will be right back. Alright, we got one against uh, Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, so uh, my opponent also has a high dragon. Going to have to watch out for that. I uh, got a lot of huge threats in the tier such as uh, Entei, Tornadus. Hi, Dragon. These are all really good Pokemon, so I'm going to have to be very, very careful with this team. Uh, what I'm going to want to do is actually lead off with uh, Sylveon, I believe. It has the best lead matchup uh, against Swampert and against a couple of other members on his team, so we'll do that. Also gets to just throw out a Hyper Voice right away. Uh, he chooses to lead with Celebi. We might get set up on turn one, but we'll deal with it. I'm just going to throw up a Hyper Voice. I assume this thing will be Rocks. Uh, we do have Hazard Removal in Blastoise. Not a lot of opportunities to spin, more so on the Entei than anything else, but uh, he is going to go for Stealth Rocks. Hyper Voice is going to do a clean 39%. He is Leftovers. Shows to be that. And uh, I think we're just going to throw up a Wish, actually, as he goes for a U-turn, which is nice. Uh, he wouldn't want to switch in Lucario into a, uh, into a Hyper Voice, so Entei is going to come out. We're going to be able to bring out Blastoise quite easily here uh, on a potential Sacred Fire. Uh, might get burned, but uh, it's a risk I'm willing to take. It does go for the Sacred Fire. It's going to do a little under half. We're going to go right back up to full thanks to the Wish from Sylveon. And uh, we are going to Mega Evolve and I think just throw out a... I really want to just throw out a Dark Pulse right here. Uh, as we'll be able to hit the Swampert and the Celebi both pretty hard. Uh, I think that might be my best play. Then again, I think just getting rid of the rocks is also very nice. Maybe a little later. We can we can save that for later. He's just going to stay in and go for Sacred Fire. Uh, he's going to get a crit on that turn. No burn once again, so that's very nice. Going to go for the Dark Pulse. Going to do a little bit of damage. We're going to go for a Rapid Spin this time as my opponent chooses to switch out into Celebi. Not too bad for us. Uh, could have a Grass move, so I don't really want to stay in. We do have a lot of speed, but I don't think it's enough to outspeed uh, a no-speed Celebi. So, I'm just going to switch out into High Dragon here. Should be a relatively safe switch. As my opponent just throws back up rocks, risking the Dark Pulse. Not too bad for us, though, as I can just throw out a Draco Meteor right here. Uh, be able to catch the Lucario, potentially, as my opponent's just going to stay in. And I guess Roost. Uh, yeah, Recover, there we go. And uh, Dark Pulse is a little bit stronger than Draco, but I don't really want to stay in because we do have the drops. So, I'm just going to switch out into Sylveon right here. He might think that I'm going to be tempted to, uh, to go for a... Uh, yeah, to go for a Dark Pulse, as my opponent's going to go right back out into Entei. It's a little bit of a problem, but we do have an, an alternate counter to this thing being Snorlax. Be able to take the Sacred Fire relatively well, thanks to the Thick Fat. We do resist it, only take 30%, and we also have the rest, the rest, excuse me, so we don't have to worry about being burned. And I can just throw out a Frustration right here. My opponent might want to try to get the burn, as instead he chooses to go out into Swampert, so nice play. Going to take 40% from that uh, Frustration, so I'm assuming this is an offensive Swampert. Uh, from that damage. I think we can just throw out another frustration right here. It is mega indeed uh, as he does go for an earthquake does a sizable amount of damage But I'm assuming the uh, either the ice punch or the waterfall is coming out right here So I'm really tempted to just go into the blade fire off a shadow sneak uh, Alternatively Hydragon's not bad because I don't think he would ice punch in, in this thing's face uh, Entei is looking like more and more of a threat. I really need to get up rocks as soon as possible with Nidoqueen uh, it's not not a great situation right now against the Swampert, but potentially against the Celebi might be a good idea. I'm going to go out into High Dragon, risking the uh, the potential Ice Punch right here. As he goes for a Waterfall, so not too bad. And my opponent doesn't have a great Dark Pulse switch in, so I'm just going to go for that. As he's going to switch in the Celebi, that is going to go clean down to the Dark Pulse. We are running out of opportunities to get up our rocks, thanks to that, but uh, I'm assuming Entei is going to come out here. Uh, if it does, I might just hard switch into the Blade. And start setting up. Um, but Tornadus is actually going to come in. Okay. Interesting. Uh, I can switch into Sylveon on this quite comfortably, I think. That uh, shouldn't be too bad. Hurricane will do some damage, but just to go for Superpower instead, lowering his own attack, which is very nice. As now we will be able to throw out a Hyper Voice right here. If he goes into Entei, he's letting it get weakened. 
It's actually going to stay in it to hurricane me. Going to miss, unfortunately, and we're going to get off this hyper voice right here. Uh, I'm just going to go for a wish this time, as he is going to connect this hurricane. It's going to do 50%, so quite a bit. And uh, I am just going to protect. I know that he can switch out, uh, but I think protecting is just the overall correct play. As my opponent is just going to throw out another hurricane, so not too bad. And uh, I could switch into the blade. Don't really want to take that hit. I'm just going to wish again, as he does go for another hurricane. Not going to confuse us, which is very nice. And I'm just going to keep protecting. If he brings in the Entei, that's fine. This Tornadus only has one more hit left in it. He's just going to keep hurricaning. That's all right. We're just going to keep getting back health. I'm just going to wish stall this thing a little bit more. And uh, he's actually going to miss that hurricane, which gives us a free hyper voice at this point. Or I could even switch into potentially the blade at this point, but I don't really want to risk taking a knockoff. So I'm just going to hyper voice as my opponent is going to go for the tailwind. We're going to be able to knock out the uh, tornadus right there. But now he's under tailwind, so that's a little bit unfortunate. I wonder what he's going to go on to. Entei? Okay, that's fine. Uh, I'm just going to protect to see what this thing locks itself into, and then we're, we might have to sack something off right here. Uh, as he is going to go for a Sacred Fire, that's fine. We will... How much does Blastoise at? It's way too low. Can I take this? Let's find out. Sylveon versus... Uh, let's see. Cap Wish. That's max defensive versus Entei. Choice Banded. Sacred Fire does 58 to 69, so it's not enough to knock us out. I'll just go for the Wish. We'll stall him out of Sacred Fires. He's only got three left. He, he does get the burn right there, unfortunately. Uh, so we're not going to be able to stall this thing forever. We're just going to go for Protect right here. He's only got three Sacred Fires left. There's one. Uh, we'll go for another Wish right here. Hopefully we'll be able to bring him down to the last Sacred Fire. Uh, he might have to switch out at some point. He's going to go for it right here. And we're not going to die to the burn, luckily. He's only got one left. So what I'm going to do is actually just throw out a Hyper Voice right here, expecting him to want to save it as he does, and he's going to switch out into Swampert. We'll be able to knock that thing out, get back our Wish, which is very nice, and uh, now we're sitting at 50%. Sylveon putting in the most work right now. Might get Thumbnail Spot. I do have to save this thing, however, uh, potentially for the uh, the High Dragon. Now he brings in Lucario, and this thing is a huge threat. Uh, the Blade does deal with it relatively well. And how much is Entei sitting at? I think it was at, it's still at a good amount of health. I think I'm just going to switch in Snorlax as it doesn't do much for the rest of the game, especially only being at 14% as he is going to go for Swords Dance. Uh, I'm just going to go for a Frustration right here. Uh, if he wants to Swords Dance again, he's going to take quite a bit of damage. He does just go for the Bullet Punch and it reveals to be a Life Orb. Uh, he could be Earthquake. That would suck because the Blade is going to take a huge amount of damage from that. But I can just throw out a Secret Sword right here. We, we are very defensive. Even if he has Earthquake, I don't think it'll knock us out. He's just going to switch into High Dragon. That's fine. We're going to be able to weaken this thing. And uh, I think just switch into Sylveon at this point is fine, as he might go for a Dark Pulse, uh, which is the case. He's going to be able to not knock us out with the combination of Burn plus Dark Pulse. That only did 18%. And I think Needle Queen lives as well. Hopefully we're faster with our High Dragon. I don't know if he's... Uh, he's not Life Orb, so he might be Scarfed. Uh, so I'm just going to throw out a Hyper Voice right here. He's just going to go for another Dark Pulse. It's going to be able to take us out. Huh, Scarfed. Interesting. Let's go into Needle Queen, and I think just throw out a Sludge Wave here is fine. Yeah, let's just throw out a Sludge Wave. If he wants to stay in to try to flinch us, that's fine. We'll be able to knock out the Hot Dragon, which is very nice. The Blade should be able to win this game. Uh, I should be able to set up an SD on his Lucario. He doesn't get the flinch, which is very nice, and I'm assuming Entei is going to come back in here. Which, uh, no, Lucario actually comes back in, so this is very nice. I get to go for Earth Power right here. He's going to go for E-Speed. And he's going to allow me to set up a Swords Dance, which should allow me to take out his Entei from the range it's at, I believe. Let's just check the Blade. The Blade, Swords Dance. Shadow Sneak normally does 19 to 23. So yeah, I'm going to uh, set up an SD. He's going to do the same. Uh, and I think I have to go for another one, but I think plus 4 takes out Lucario. Let's check. Lucario, you use Swords Dance. Shadow Sneak does 30 to 36, so yes, another SD will allow us to knock him out. And it will also allow us to knock out the Entei. Looking like uh, GBA Season 4 Final right here. <laughs> the Blade uh, setting up two Swords Dances and winning. And uh, I don't know why he went out into Lucario. I think that was an incorrect play on my opponent's part. He should have definitely gone into Entei to prevent me from uh, spamming Shadow Sneak, or Swords Dance rather. And we are able to knock out the Entei right there, so very nice. Clean win. Uh, could have played that a little bit better at the beginning of the game, but we were able to recover. Let our walls to his Entei take a lot of damage early. That wasn't a great idea. Wouldn't recommend it again. <laughs> would not, uh, would not refer to anybody else. But, like I said before, we're gonna have a little bit of trouble finding some games, so I am gonna pause it, guys, and we will be right back.
Alright guys, and we got one, and I actually got one before this, but I forgot to start uh, recording again because I completely got distracted by the fact that I found Johnny on the ladder having games, as you can see right here. <laughs> so, uh, we'll just close that for now, get back into our battle here. So my opponent uh, has a very similar team, actually, to the first one we faced. He's got an Entei, a Tornadus, a Celebi, same stuff, so... Uh, again, gotta watch out for that Entei, and what I want to do is just get up my rocks as early as possible. So I'm gonna lead off with Blast uh, with Needle Queen, as my opponent leads off with Blastoise. So not the best situation for the, for us, uh, but I can just switch into Sylveon right here, so it's fine. He is just gonna go for a Skull. That's not gonna do too much to us, only 31%, but he is gonna get the burn. Uh, I'm gonna go for a Heal Bell because I don't want to uh, take any more additional damage uh, from the burn, as we will be able to Heal Bell up right here. And hopefully he doesn't get another burn. Uh, I'm actually going to protect on this turn to make sure that even if he does burn us that we're fine. And we can take the following one. I'm going to go for a wish. We're stalling him out of scalds. He's got 21 left. Uh, goes for another scald. He's not going to burn us, which is nice. And I'm just going to protect right here. Get back all our health. Uh, if he wants to switch into something like Entei, that's fine. Uh, like I said before, I do have counters to this. So we'll go directly into uh, Snorlax right here. I did want to get up my rocks early, but uh, that looks like it's not going to happen. I actually want to do a quick calc from, from uh, Nidoqueen uh, from an offensive uh, entry hazard setter with Thunderbolt to Blastoise so that we know for next time how much this actually does to a Mega. Does 64 to 78, so that's not bad at all. Just going to go for a Sacred Fire. He's going to get the burn right there. Not a huge deal. I'm actually just going to go for a Curse right now. And uh, we'll be able to take his next Sacred Fire into the next one after that, so we should be okay. He might expect the rest right here, but I am just going to go for the Curse. Be able to take any physical hits that he wants to go for afterwards. He's going to go into Blastoise, and I expect the Aura Sphere to come out here. Uh, but he is faster than us, so he's going to just give us the rest, which is nice. Um, I expect to live this easily. Yep. And we're going to go back up to full. And Aura Sphere did 43, which means I'm not comfortable staying in on this. Uh, I'm just going to switch into Sylveon right here, as he is going to go for another Aura Sphere, which is awesome. He is going to crit us, unfortunately, uh, but I'm just going to throw out a Hyper Voice at this point, because uh, I want to weaken the Entei. He's going to go for a Scald. Uh, he is going to get a burn again, uh, but we are going to weaken the Blastoise as a result, and I'm expecting another Scald to come out here, so I'm just going to go into Hydreigon. I want to keep Sylveon just a little while longer as a sack, potentially gonna go for another Scald. He's gonna crit that one. And luckily, he doesn't burn us. Uh, and I'm just gonna throw out a superpower, expecting the Blissey to want to come in as it does. And uh, that's gonna take a tremendous amount of damage, even potentially a two-hit KO. Not after leftovers, though, I don't think. So what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, take this as an opportunity to finally get up our rocks, as my opponent is just going to wish up, and uh, we're gonna throw him up. I mean, there's nothing else uh, that I really want to do right here. If he wants to go for a Seismic Toss, that's fine. I really just want to get up these rocks because I have to limit that Entei switch-ins as much as possible this game. Especially with uh, Snorlax now asleep. Nidoqueen's actually going to come out uh, against us, and we have a lot of speed. Actually, we are uh, more speed invested than most Nidoqueens, so we're just going to throw out an Earth Power and knock out his Nidoqueen right there. And I'm expecting Blastoise to want to come in here. We know how much we do to that thing, so I might just want to Thunderbolt it. Actually, yeah, and we should be faster as long as he's not max speed. So, let's go for a Thunderbolt right here. And uh, hopefully be able to knock this thing out. Normally, these things have uh, HP investments. So, let's just go for it right here. He might actually even make a prediction and go for... Uh, nope, we're just able to knock out the Blastoise. Awesome. Okay, so rocks stay up this game, which is awesome. Uh, and, yeah, it's not a speed tie. A speed tie. My opponent thought it was a speed tie. Uh, it's not. It's definitely not. Uh, I don't know why my message isn't sending. That's weird. Uh, I'm just going to switch out into Sylveon. Let it go down right here. Uh, if he wants to go for the Sacred Fire, then he's going to have to deal with a Blastoise in front of him the turn after. So that's quite nice. He does have his Blissey at full, unfortunately. Uh, we can actually break that down with the Blade. So I'm not too worried about it. And Blissey can't do much back to the Blade. So uh, I'm really curious to know why my message didn't send. Is this lagging? Uh, it has to be. Alright, well, it's fine, whatever. Uh, we'll just wait until my opponent makes a move. The timer is on, but it doesn't seem to be counting down. It's stuck at 150. Huh. Alright, well, guys, I'm just gonna pause it real quick and make sure that everything is okay. Alright, so, I don't know what happened there, but when I got back, it said that I had 10 seconds left to make a move, so that was really weird. 
Uh, I'm just gonna go on to Blastoise now, and his, uh, his Entei did take some recoil from Flare Blitzing our Sylveon, so that's nice. Uh, we're lagging quite a bit here, is it the add on the side, potentially? Uh, I really want to predict the Blissey and just switch out into the Blade right here, but I don't think it's worth it. I think it's much more worth just to go for an Aura Sphere right here, as he does bring out the Blissey. This might even be a 2-hit KO, actually, because this is quite strong. Uh, it is a 2-hit KO. Awesome. Alright, so we're gonna be able to throw out a Scald right here, and uh, Blissey's pretty much gone. So I'm glad we kept this thing low. He switched out on a wish before. He's gonna go into Celebi, uh, and he's gonna take a Scald. And now he has to deal with a Dark Pulse. If he leaves Storms me, then so be it. But his Blissey doesn't come back in anymore, and I think I can deal with the rest of the team once again with the Blade. So he is gonna go for a Giga Drain. That's gonna get a crit, and we're gonna go for a Dark Pulse. This is act that actually works out in my favor because it means that he's not gonna get as much back from the next Giga Drain. So we'll just go for uh, another Dark Pulse right here. Probably just gonna Drain again, but that's absolutely fine. As, uh, like I said before, the Blade should be able to seal out this game at this point. Uh, with Entei so low, it comes in at uh, less than 50. Uh, Z is just going to go for another Giga Drain, that's absolutely fine. We'll go out into the Blade. We will Sword Stance, I believe, is my play. As uh, if, he has, if he actually has something to hit us, that's cool. But he's just going to go for a Giga Drain, he's going to allow me to Sword Stance. I'm going to go for it again. And, uh, yeah. And then we'll be able to clean up his team from that point on. He's just going to keep going for Giga Drain, so it's another case of a player that does not want to switch out onto the Blade. I think his best play would have been to, uh, going out into Entei on the first turn, like on like the first time around. But uh, it's okay. We're uh, we're good. Uh, Blissey dies, goes down right there. The Blade would have indeed been slower than that, so I think that's pretty much GG. I think, yeah. Uh, Entei should go down to this uh, Shadow Sneak right here, unless he's like fully HP, max, max HP, max defense, Entei, Bandit Entei. Yeah, no, I don't think so. But uh, my opponent's gonna forfeit, so we will be able to get another game, and I will be right back, guys. Alright, guys, and we got one. Uh, this is, That was the longest wait ever, not for you, obviously, but for me. I actually got a r random battle between the two, uh, because I had to reconnect when we had that lag spike in the last game and uh, it automatically reset me to default, which was random. Uh, when I clicked search for a battle, it just gave me a random game immediately, so that was a little bit uh, annoying, but we, uh, we got another game, and uh, my opponent actually has two very good checks to the Blade being Arcanine and uh, Darmanitan, which is a little bit annoying. But I also see no good counter lead to Nidoqueen, so we can, uh, we can lead with this, and I think just get up our rocks is fine. He might do the same. As he does, awesome, okay. And uh, now, how do we break this thing? <laughs> I'm gonna go for a Sludge Wave on the first turn, attempt to get a Poison, as we do not. He goes for the Seismic Toss, that's fine. Uh, we'll go into the Blade here, and like I said before, my opponent has very good answers to the Blade, but uh, I'm just gonna go out into it here. He's gonna switch out directly into Arcanine, so good play, uh, catching the, the Blade. And I think just Blastoise is fine. My opponent might go for a wild charge, but that's something that I just have to deal with. He just goes for a flamethrower, though. That's absolutely fine. Does not get the burn, which is nice. And we will go straight for the rapid spin right here as uh, Blissey does come out. So I did see the Jellicent. Don't worry, guys. I'm not blind. Uh, but I did I did just want to go for the uh, rapid spin right there. We'll go for Aura Sphere because I know that I know that it does quite a bit. Uh, does a nice 30% to this thing as he just goes for Stealth Rocks once again. And uh, now we're going to go for a Scald and attempt to get a burn right here. Uh, as we do not, he goes for the soft boiled, which is fine. And uh, we're gonna go into the blade directly because I expect the seismic toss to come out here on the rapid spin. Uh, as he actually goes for toxic, so this is nice. That means he can absolutely not touch me, uh, which means I'm going right back out into Blastoise on the Arcanine switch. Awesome, we catch that, and uh, we're gonna be able to spin once again. So this is uh, getting a little bit annoying for him, I'm sure, as he keeps switching in his Arcanine to uh, to rocks. Blissey's gonna come back out, we can just switch right back out into the Blade on this, it can't do anything to us. Uh, if he wants to go into Arcanine uh, and predict my the Blade, that's fine, he's just taking more rocks damage, as that is exactly what is gonna happen uh, on the following turn, I assume. He's gonna go right back out into, uh, actually he's gonna go into Fortress this time, that's nice. Alright, so we're able to weaken that, and I'm just gonna go for a Swords Dance here, uh, because I expect him to want to spin as well, as he goes for a Volt Switch, okay, that's cool. Uh, Arcanine's gonna come in and take more damage, I assume, uh, as it does, awesome, and I'm expecting a, uh, a Morning Sun right here, so I know that plus one doesn't take it out, I'm 100% sure plus one does not take it out, but I'm also pretty sure that Arcanine can't knock us out with a Flamethrower, let's see, the Blade, 
versus this. If Flare Blitz does that much, how much does Flamethrower do? It actually does quite a bit, and that's uninvested, so... Not sure if I really want to stay in here. Uh, we did cause the Fortress to take a little bit of damage, so that's always nice. I think Snorlax is actually probably my play here. He does, he does have a Ghost, though, so I'm going to have to watch out for that. Uh, how much is Blissey at? 93. All right, we're going to go for Sacred Sword right here, as he does go for the Morning Sun. Uh, and he is leftover, so we're not going to be taking any Rocky Helmet damage, luckily. As now I'm expecting Flamethrower to come out, so I'm just going to go into Blastoise here. As my opponent is going to go for the Flamethrower. Exactly, beautiful. He does get the burn, unfortunately. And I'm assuming he's also faster than us, so that's, that's really... That's dumb. All right, so he's going to get off another flamethrower right there. He's going to be able to knock us out. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to predict the Blissey to come in here. Well, I could also see the Whimsicott coming in. Yeah, let's not take a risk. Let's just go for the Dark Pulse, as my opponent does go into Blissey. And uh, from 70%, I'm pretty sure we cannot take this thing out. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to Dark Pulse once to see what his play is. He's actually going to double into uh, Whimsicott, so that's nice. We're going to get off a nice chunk of damage right there. And the next time Blissey comes in, it goes down to Super Power, so this is a pretty good spot for us. We can just go hard into Nidoqueen on this, I believe, uh, on a potential Moonblast, as my opponent's going to go for a Substitute. That's absolutely fine. We'll go for a Sludge Wave right here. If he wants to stay in to Leech Seed me, that's okay. Uh, we'll switch out into Sylveon on the following Substitute, and then I think I'm going to double into Hydreigon again to catch the Blissey. Uh, he actually goes directly into Blissey, so good play. Uh, we'll go for a Wish, however. And we'll be able to wish up uh, pretty much anything on the team. Unfortunately, Blastoise isn't around anymore because it did get burned. He's going to go for a Toxic. That's fine. We will go for the switch out into... I think Hydreigon is fine. As my opponent is going to do what? Go for a Seismic Toss. That's absolutely fine. We're going to be able to get this wish. A lot of health back. We're going to go for Super Power right here. Uh, and be able to uh, knock this Blissey pretty low. Actually, knock it straight out. Awesome. Okay, cool. So we don't have to deal with that thing anymore. That's really nice. Our special attackers can now have a little bit more fun, especially Nidoqueen. Oh yeah, Nidoqueen is having a, a blast in this game. Um, as soon as I get it in on Arcanine, I'm, I pretty much get a kill every time. So that's really nice. Basically, the blade forces Arcanine to come in, and then Nidoqueen can double in. This team has a lot of really nice doubles, as long as you don't allow your opponent to get up rocks, but unfortunately I had to. I couldn't really prevent that because it was coming from Blissey, and this team doesn't have a huge physical wall breaker other than, other than the blade, so didn't really have a choice there. But Blissey is going to go clean down. I saw Super Power do a lot less to a previous Blissey. Uh, in another game that you guys didn't get to see, so I was actually surprised that that knocked it out. I just didn't expect him to go for the soft-boiled right there, because that's not the play that he made last time, so... Uh, my opponent doesn't have a great play right here, other than this Darmanitan. I'm fully expecting a U-turn to come out here, so I'm just gonna go hard into Sylveon. Uh, if this thing does want a U-turn, then that's absolutely fine. Uh, it's gonna take more rocks when it comes back in. I'm assuming the, uh, the Fortress is coming in here which gives me a free switch into the blade, which will force an Arcanine, allow me to go into Nidoqueen, and punish it as a result, so. Uh, Jellicent is actually going to come in here. Okay, quite interesting. Uh, I'm just going to go for a Heal Bell, because if he does have Hex, then it won't hit me as hard, which is nice. And uh, then we can... Uh, he actually goes for Water Spout. Wow, okay. I'm uh, going to get the Heal Bell off. That Water Spout did 35%, so clearly not enough. We'll go for a Wish right here. Uh, is he Specs or, or something? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but Arcanine is going to come in here. We are going to get this Wish off. And uh, that's a free Wish Pass into Hydreigon, I believe. Actually, I'm going to go for Protect first. Because if this thing wants to waste its Morning Suns, that's fine by me. Uh, because then it won't be able to switch in as often. We're going to go for the Wish right here. Uh, actually, Protect, excuse me. And uh, we'll be able to throw out a Hyper Voice here. Unless he has Encore, which I'm actually expecting him to have. So we'll go into the Blade hard. And... Uh, He's actually going to double into Arcanine, so great play, being able to catch my Deblade. However, I do have Shadow Sneak on deck. But I think the play here is always into Sylveon on this thing, because it cannot touch me. It cannot touch Sylveon at all. So we'll uh, we'll switch out into Sylveon as he goes for a Sunny Day. Sunny Day? Wait a minute, what? <laughs> what are you? <laughs> I, I thought it was Morning Sun for a second, but I guess that gives him a little more recovery with Morning Sun, but I'm just going to wish here... As my opponent is going to pull out a switch into Darmanitan, be able to throw out a Flare Blitz right here. But I do have Snorlax, which can easily take that. Even in the sun, that's not going to do too much. 
It's only going to do 49%. He's going to take a huge amount of recoil, and we're going to get a lot of health back from that. And uh, he's sitting at 28%. So I'm just going to go for a Frustration, honestly. If he wants to switch out into Jellicent, that's fine. My opponent chooses to go into Fortress, which is also fine. I can just go into the Blade. I want to keep my rocks up at all costs. That's the most important thing right now is just keeping rocks up. Uh, also, the sun is about to fade, so... And his Arcanine is sitting pretty low because it went for a sunny day. So he's going to go for Earthquake, actually. That's a great play. Uh, but I'm going to be able to switch out into Hydreigon here, I believe. Uh, and just threaten this thing out immediately. Go for a Dark Pulse. As uh, Volt Switch is actually going to come out right there. That's fine as well. I'm um, fully expecting not this. Um, Alright, let's go Sylveon. And we'll be able to start Wish Passing again. As my opponent is going to go for Leech Seed, which is fine. Uh, I'm not staying in here. Simply because I do not want to give Arcanine or Darmanitan free recovery. Then again, I could just Hyper Voice, I think is fine. Yeah, I'm just going to throw out a Hyper Voice. As my opponent's going to go out onto Arcanine. This should kill. Uh, absolutely. Yep, as it does. Awesome. Okay, so he's not going to get any, any uh, Leech Seed recovery, and I think the Blade just wins now, uh, as long as I'm able to Wish Pass into it, which is exactly what I'm going to try to do. And then I'll just set up a Swords Dance and win. So this is the uh, the Blade Sylveon show right now. Pretty much nothing else doing anything but being support. Like, if it wasn't for High Dragon, I wouldn't be been able to get rid of the Blissey, so I guess we'll give it that. Um, I'm going to go for the Wish right here. Again, Water Spout doesn't do too much. He does give me a Choice Scarf, which is nice. Going to get the Leftovers as a result. We're going to go for a Wish. Uh, I'm not going to pass this into the Blade just yet, because I'm fearing the... Uh, he actually goes Whimsicott. Wow, I could have easily passed that into the Blade. Come on, dude. Uh, I'm just going to go into Sylveon again here. If he wants to go for a Leech Seed, that's fine. I just get off another Hyper Voice after that. So, it's not too big of a deal. We are going to get Leech Seeded. Actually, I'm just going to I'm gonna end this now. I'm going to go for a Wish. I'm going to pass it into the Blade, and we're going to get this over with. As uh, my opponent is probably going to switch out into either Fortress or go for a Moonblast. Okay, cool. Our special attack is going to drop. That's fine. I'm just going to go out into the Blade now. And uh, I don't expect a Leech Seed to come out here. I expect... What do I expect? I don't know. Alright, so we're going to get this uh, off into the Blade. He's going to go for a Leech Seed, but that's absolutely fine. We're going to throw out an Iron Head, I think, right here. And uh, if he wants to go into Fortress, that's fine. He's going to Substitute. That's also fine. We're going to go into uh, Needle Queen right here. I don't think he has Encore from the looks of things. As my opponent is just going to set up another sub, that's fine. Um, he can just repeatedly Leech Seed, which is really annoying. Uh, Leech Seed plus sub. So I think what I need to do is actually... Hmm, I left Sylveon a little low. That's bad. Alright, let's just Sludge Wave. He's going to go for Leech Seed, he's going to land it. And uh, he's just going to be able to sub up repeatedly. I don't know how much health he's actually getting back, though, so we'll see here. Does go for another substitute. We're going to be able to take that out. He is going back up to near full, so that's a little annoying. Um, I got to switch out into the blade on not a leech seed, basically, as he goes for a substitute. We're going to go for an iron head right here. If he wants the leech seed, that's absolutely fine. Uh, he is going to connect that. And basically what we're going to do right here is we're going to go for a Swords Dance. And uh, we're going to start Shadow Sneaking this thing. As he actually chooses to go out into Fortress. So uh, we can't really stay in here, unfortunately. He could just go for Volt Switch, though. I could totally see that being a thing. Um, you know what? Let's leave this thing low. Let's leave it at 35%. He is just going to go for a Volt Switch. Okay, cool. So basically something is going down here. As it looks like it's going to be Whimsicott. I'm just going for a sneak. If this thing wants to sub up, that's fine. But I'm just going to Shadow Sneak right here. He is going to sub. As we are going to be able to break that. And now he's not behind a sub. Which means that I get to bring in Snorlax. And start firing off Frustrations, I think. Is my play. Or is it Nido Queen? I think my play is Nido Queen. And I just go for Sludge Wave. Because now he can't just sub and do all those shenanigans. Nice, we live the moon blast and we're able to knock out this Whimsicott, the biggest problem to us. And now it just comes down to whether or not we can beat the combination of Jellicent plus uh, Darmanitan. We do not live rocks anymore, so we will have to let Needle Queen go down right here. I could also keep it as a sack, potentially. We'll see what we want to do. Jellicent does come in a little bit lower. It was Choice Scarfed, so we know that it has a lot of speed investment. We're going to have to watch out for that. But we should be good. We should be good, guys. I think we uh, we were able to uh, luckily live that moon blast. That was pretty huge. Uh, Jellicent is going to come in. I'm just going to T-bolt this. It's actually faster than our Needle Queen, so it is max speed. Um, but that also means that Hydreigon just comes in here and fires off a Dark Pulse now. So 
this pretty much dies or his fortress goes down. So goodbye Jellicent. And uh, Darmanitan comes in extremely low at 3%. We'll be able to go into Sylveon right here, sack it off. If he goes for the Flare Blitz, that's fine. He's going to go for the U-Turn, and he's going to go out into a Fortress, which means that I just go back into Hydreigon, fire off a Dark Pulse, and that is good game. So Hydreigon ab absolutely able to, to end this for us. Luckily, this is a very tough game, thanks to that Whimsicott. But that is going to be GG. I'm going to drop that for my opponent in the chat. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you guys next time. Ciao.